little Sherlock woke up, he heard someone creep near his room. His dad came in. After his dad gave him a goodnight kiss, Punk saw a light on in one of the building, and it was Little Sherlock's school. Little Sherlock met his friends, and the class. They kept whispering, and Miss Greenfield was angry. There had been four fish in the tank yesterday, but now there were five. There, they decide to investigate. Little Sherlock and Doc Watson were on their walkie-talkies, and they saw the school lit up again as well. As another house, they started blinking as though someone was sending Morse code. They deciphered the message. Split. Split. Okay. The next day at school, there was a substitute teacher instead of Miss Greenfield, and there were four goldfish in the fishbowl again. Little Sherlock inspected the teacher's drawer and put together a torn, is up note that said, "Go to this address, Seven Maple Lane." They decide to investigate this house on Saturday. They went investigating on Saturday morning. They found their way through the streets of Maze before finding Seven Maple Lane. They watched the house from across. They went in the garage when the van went out without closing the door. They realized that it wasn't a garage, but a workshop. The dozen of tools and a strange piece of paper that had the messages split pipe. Ali Greenfield, Ten Second Street. Now they were off to Second Street to investigating further. They found the house. Mrs. Greenfield opened the door and explained what happened. There was a split pipe in at her house, and her goldfish would die to the leakage. So she had brought it to school. Then she had gotten a cold. The mystery was solved.